Hensel is uh, quite active for some time on the uh, Polish market. Uh, we see Poland as a very important market from the security as well as military perspective, being a NATO and uh, a European Union members. In that perspective, uh, Hansel has a wide range of portfolio, uh, which can actually help in those missions. Uh, and this is where we see our, our, uh, our, our role uh, in projects uh, uh, within the security or military. Basically, Hansel uh, uh, can offer all the domains with regards to the uh, defense electronic and security electronic solutions systems, be it a flying platform, platform on the ground, or the vessel uh, on the sea. Uh, from that perspective, we are fully equipped and we can offer with the solutions, uh, NATO standardized solution that can be offered to the, to the Polish uh, uh, Ministry of National Defense. Uh, having in mind that uh, they are a, a very uh, a big NATO member and uh, all the NATO requirements to be fulfilled by the NATO member. And the Polish Ministry of National Defense uh, really works uh, uh, quite heavily on, um, on, a, uh, on a program of modernization uh, in all of those segments I just mentioned. And uh, we see our, our, our uh, uh, possibility to offer our solutions and to be part of this modernization program. When we speak about uh, concrete capability of our solutions, um, we can start with the, for the flying platforms uh, with the elect electro-optical uh, 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 systems, with the cell protection systems uh, in case the aircraft is engaging the mission. Uh, we are talking about data links. We are talking about uh, um, surveillance radars, airborne surveillance radars. When we speak about uh, uh, ground vehicles, uh, be it armed infantry vehicle or main battlefield tank, uh, we are talking about different kind of optronic solutions for the commander, for the, for the uh, driver. Uh, we can talk about self-protection equipment against the anti-tank uh, guided missile. Uh, and also uh, on, the, on the sea, in the sea domain, uh, we are offering uh, uh, radars, uh, air traffic control radars, uh, target acquisition radars, cell protections, and so on and so on. Hansel's strategy is uh, always uh, to engage the local industry because local industry has the best knowledge. Uh, certainly, the local industry can bring additional value to the project. Uh, why? Uh, geographically, they are closer to the customer. If there is any issue to be resolved, if there is a time, a, a very important factor, basically the local partner can, can, can react much faster. On the other side, the needs uh, for the new technology are known to the local industry uh, uh, the best. So basically partnering with the local industry uh, uh, helps to, to provide the tailored uh, and timely solution to the, to the end customer. With that regards, uh, we do have uh, constantly uh, uh, events organized uh, uh, to meet local industry, to present what we do, how we do it, and also to learn more about the local industry, what they can offer. And basically, we do have already a serious uh, 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 dialogues with the local companies in order to create those, uh, those kind of uh, cooperations. Cooperation can be uh, from the uh, partnering in a specific project uh, through the technology transfer up to the not necessarily only national, other national projects, but international projects as well. So this is uh, what we are trying to do. And I'm pretty much sure that in Poland we're going to succeed. Coming back to our radar, uh, wider radar portfolio we can offer, um, we can talk about air traffic control radars, we can talk about air surveillance, uh, uh, target acquisition radars, uh, we can talk about uh, ground-based radars. Um, in any case, those are uh, uh, radars that can meet all the NATO uh, uh, requirements, uh, especially if we talk about uh, uh, the latest one, Mode 5 encryption, uh, which is very important uh, to uh, any uh, uh, NATO member, including uh, Poland. Speaking of uh, air traffic control uh, radar, uh, behind me, you can see uh, uh, our newest air traffic control, uh, new generation radar, which is exactly the co-mount and primary and secondary radar, as you can see uh, here. Uh, the secondary one, which is an uh, interrogator, interrogator friend or four, uh, is actually working, uh, covering all the modes, the civilian and military ones, including mode five. Uh, they are co-mounted, as you can see uh, uh, here. Um, but they can also be uh, uh, in a deployable version. So basically we have uh, quite a variety of solutions uh, to propose to the end customer, to the operator, 
And uh, we are ready, like uh, I already mentioned, we are ready to engage the local industry to help us to tailor the, the final solution, which will meet all the customer needs at the end of the day. And this is our, our mission.